Hello and welcome to another Rin Reads. Um, I am super excited to be back. I was sick and not able to really do much of anything. So I'm happy to be able to at least talk about books again. I was telling a friend about how I really enjoy the royalty romance trope and they were like, have you heard of Her Royal Highness? And I was like, no. And so they continued on being like, it's really popular. They hadn't read it, but it was really popular on like book talks and stuff like that. So, um, of course I gave it a try <laughs> and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, not usually, like, this probably wouldn't be a book that I would have regularly picked up on my own, but I'm kind of glad that I gave it a try. So, this is about Millie, who's an American, because it's always Americans. Why can't it be Canadians? So, Millie ends up being, like, obsessed with Scotland. She had kind of a thing with her friend in the summer but her friend has now gotten back with her boyfriend and Millie's like really confused and having a lot of feelings about this. So she had applied to a boarding school in Scotland and got it wonderfully so. So her family makes it possible for her to go. I don't think her family knows that there was a thing with her and her friend in the summer, but regardless, she gets in and she goes. While she's there, she has a roommate that she then finds out is part of the royal family and princess of Scotland. So yeah, it's really about like Flora and Millie and how they meet and how their relationship develops. I actually really loved how their relationship developed. Um, of course it had like the roommate trope, which I love. Um, and then, of course, there's all of the misunderstandings that come with, you know, commoner and royal together and all of the kind of things that they have to overcome that way. Um, <laughs> but overall, like, it was just really good. Um, I went through this book so fast. Um, it was a very easy style to read for me um, to the point that when I finished the book. There's another book set in the same universe called um, Prince Charming, originally titled Royals, that I was like, I need this. I have to read it. So um, I still haven't gotten the book yet. I've been looking for it. Um, haven't wanted to like order it, um, but I probably will because I just haven't been able to find it in bookstores. But I loved it enough that I want to read that other title. So that says a lot. Um, yeah, Millie and Flora are just actually both really cute. Um, all of the characters are really good. I enjoy Flora's brother. I enjoy Millie's friends that she gets while she's at the school. I don't want to go too much into it because, of course, spoilers, but definitely would say recommend this title. Um, it has been a while since I read it, so I'm sorry that it's not more in depth, but like this is... Okay, nerdy time coming up. This is something that I could see myself taking characters from this because there's so many likable characters and wanting to write my own fan fiction of their own stories because like they're just lovable characters. Um, I hope that we get more from this universe. I'm really excited to read Prince Charming and I hope that it's just as good. And so yeah, also it's kind of like a fun book cover. I don't know. I thought it was very minimalist, but also like, cool. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm not a graphic designer. I don't understand this stuff. It looks good to me. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Honestly, when I got it, I was like, I'm reading this on recommendation alone. I didn't think I would enjoy it. So I was really pleasantly surprised to find out that I loved it, loved the characters, look forward to the time where I do a review on Prince Charming. Um, also talking to um, some other avid readers, apparently Rachel Hawkins has some other really good book series. So I'm kind of excited to look more into her work. So anyways, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully I will be back sooner than later. Bye.